Hi, hello and welcome back to my channel Dips Home Studio. In today's video, I'm going to share the basic routine in a makeup. So that is about the primers. Um, I have already uh, uploaded a video on suggestions on how to use the uh, moisturizer and what kind of moisturizer are good. And uh, you can check that out. So initial step in your makeup routine must be uh, prepping your skin that is a moisturizing. So as I have done that, we'll skip on to the next step that is the primer. So step by step, we are going to check out the makeup routine how it really works i love makeup and i love to do lots of makeup people who really likes experimenting a lot of things then we need to follow the step-by-step -step process and for the beginners who, who don't know what is the first step and what is the step, second step and what are the step-by-step -step process in the makeup routine so then that uh, then this video is for you guys so let's jump into the video without any delay let's see what are the suggestions i have for you what are the you know steps you need to follow what are the kind of you know um um primers that are available in today's market and what type of primers can be used on what kind of skin type so without any further delay let's get started so, uh, what is actually the primer do primer acts as an uh, you know extra layer in between your skin and the makeup primer is a step that shouldn't be skipped if you want that flawless smooth finish makeup routine and number of primers in today's market there are kind of you know gel based cream based powder based and uh, basically the uh, you know base product of the primer is actually a polymer known as uh, dimethicon this is the product which is used in most of the primers this is a chemical actually there are different kinds of primer for different types of skin tone there are illuminating primers hydrating primers mattifying primers color correcting primers then you have pore filling primers and um, what not um, there are hand number of primers and uh, primers have to be used according to the skin type it is very important if you're on the oily skin you have to use a mattifying primer so that it actually seals that extra uh, you know um, oil and that it controls the sheen and gives that flawless effect on whatever kind of products you use above again when you are on the dry skin it, it it actually hydrates your skin and then it illuminates your skin and give the dewy finish for the dry skin people to for that makeup to hold on again if you have too much of discoloration and pigmentation uh, using this kind of uh, color correcting primers would be really optional for you and again if you have large pores and your little you know um, uneven skin then you can use this pore filling primer so that it, it fills, fills into your pores and makes your uh, you know skin smooth and flawless to give this makeup a super glam effect i have a bunch of products which i have tested and used and few products have worked for me few products didn't work Work for me so let's check out what the products i have for you and let's review the products and if you really feel like buying it you can go ahead and buy it i would give you the suggestions which which really worked for me so you can choose something from this this is all in the affordable side and again um i think for a common man like me um who really loves makeup in trying out new products i think this is fine enough i don't want to go ahead and invest like you know more than thousand bucks on a product which i hardly use let's see the product suggestions which i have it for you guys okay i have them all ready here in the box so so let me talk about the silicone based primer initially the silicone based primer is something which is most probably used by the people who are actually having oily skin and it actually completely controls that sheen and gives that matte effect instantly so i have three options in that uh, almost all are budget friendly in this product in uh, i have um, primer from stay quickie this is how the packaging is and it retails for about 450 bucks and it has 27 grams of product and it is uh, just a normal silicone based primer so you can see the product so it blends in like a dream and it just absorbs into skin no in no minute um, I have used once or twice um, if you if you are on the dry uh, oily skin type and you have you want to try out something budget friendly then surely you can go ahead and try this product and the next one is a research from Amazon uh, initially uh, when I didn't have primers then I won went and searched um, good primer in Amazon uh, so Amazon uh, you know um, bestseller or something like that so this is the irem um, irem or irem satin touch makeup primer this is the one 
um this retails for about 1000 bucks i don't really understand what it, it retails for 1000 bucks i don't remember exactly i got it in 50% off i believe i think i got this for around 500 bucks and um this is a makeup a product for professional it, it is written over here i am not aware of this product i have not seen anybody trying out this though but uh, again it has around 20 30, 30 grams of product in retail for about 1000 bucks it again it would be an offer and uh, it has lot of claims like shine controlling pore minimizing hydrating feel smooth skin and wrinkle masking so these are the claims they do have and this is how the packaging looks again you can see the product in this is a normal silicone based primer again it's transparent colorless blends in easily in no minute this is a bit on the thicker side not like the stay quick one is take it is quite light see uh, the primer must have a little stickiness um, in its base so that it the product the foundation or the concealer the ones which we apply on the primer should stick on to the product and you know should last long this is uh, this is what the concept is behind the primer i feel personally this is the way it has to work but i don't know most of the primer like you know are so light i don't know they don't have this kind of a stickiness in them so this is the irem for you know satin touch makeup primer i don't think this is a product to worth trying so skip this one The next product I have from is the Purple True Jewel 24 Karat uh, Gold Primer. This is how the packaging looks. The packaging is so, uh, you know, superb. And um, in fact, I fell for the packaging. Um, I love the packaging. This really looked good, uh, but didn't work the way it claimed to be. Um, but that's all right. Again, this is a silicone-based primer. I just got this for the packaging. I, as you can see, I have never used this product like uh, maybe once or twice. um i don't know if you could see this you know gold kind of granules inside i don't know if it's really gold it looks like a dust for me okay so again this is a 20 ml of product comes in a pump like this the packaging is super amazing with the gold cap and this kind of a plastic packaging and yes that's it this is about 20 ml of product and retails for again 450 bucks this is again from purple.com i have this photo focus matte primer from wet and wild this again is 25 ml of product retails for 499 that is 500 bucks the packaging looks just like this it's a normal tube packaging and the product is super good it just works like a dream on my skin i don't know others have climbed the way uh you know blends in like a dream and all that but i don't think they did really work but this one is super good this is in a cream kind of texture it's not oily it's so light see the way it blends in it it is it having a cool it is having a cooling effect and um it's hydrating it's it's just super good see i love this product You would have seen me using this uh, Wet n Wild uh, primer in most of my makeup tutorials because I love this product. So if you are on the affordable side and you want some primer for the dry skin, and you should sure try this out. Try this product. Again, the next product is again from the Wet n Wild. I have um, their Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Finish Primer. This is how the packaging looks like. This is in the white tube again. This has 25 ml of product and retails for around 4.99 again. This is again a cream base and it is very light. This gives a light tint and sheen to it. This is a little see. It gives a nice glow, right? So the this is for the people who want that dewy effect and uh, who have. um dry skin and then surely you can go ahead and try this product this is worth trying uh, again it is on the affordable side and i would surely uh, you know recommend this product the next product again is from the wet and wild this is a super good product from wet and wild it is i just got you know really uh, carried out by the packaging and i got this product this is serum it's a primer serum uh, from the variant uh, rose so it is a wet and wild photo focus rose primer serum 
so the packaging is glass packaging and it comes in this kind of a dropper and it smells divine just like rose and i love the i love the fragrance and i love the texture it has a light shimmer in it as you can see i don't know if the camera is picking it up light shimmer and sheen in the product i have used this product in many of my tutorials before so you can give this a try this is a little on the uh, expensive side i think it, it retails for about 8.99 and they have around 30 ml of product again so this is how it looks again it is so very hydrating i love the consistency and it absorbs in the skin in no minute there is no oiliness it's it's super good and this 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 product resembles the Fasali unicorn essence i have not used the product before but uh, the way it looks i have seen that uh, product in many of the makeup videos i felt this resembles that product and uh, if that's the product uh, looking like and if it is an imitation of that kind of a product then i don't know for what kind of reason they are retailing for 4000 bucks and you know 10 ml of product is retailing for like you know 1700 bucks i don't really you know feel the difference of products which retails for that eye in and what actually it does and it's all about the skin care and this one is super good okay the last product from the wet and wild is their uh, photo focus three in one primer water prep set and refresh this is how the packaging looks it is a setting spray basically but this is can this can be used as a primer water too so um, this is as a variant a rose again i love the fragrance it is so light and it is not overwhelming it's it's amazing i love this when i spray it uh, i feel like so refreshing and so good again this is a super good product if you're someone who wants something light and you don't really like any kind of thick cream based product then this one is for you you can give this a try again this retails for around 500 bucks almost all of the wet and wild products retails for 500 except the rose primer um, serum uh, the other other things all the other three products retails for 500 bucks i think you can give this a try this is a good pick just print this It dressed uh, observes in his skin in no minute and it's super hydrating. I love this. This one has 45 ml of product and it retails for about 500. I think this is a good one. Then the least product I have this plum face mist actually this is not considered as a primer but i wanted to suggest this for the people or you know angsters um, or the busy office people who really are in a hurry and who don't really like applying too much of chemical based primers and lot of creams then this is a surely good pick for you i love the product as you can see i have emptied the bottle this was a product continuously i was using for around three months uh, in the morning routine uh, after i used to wash my face i used to uh, you know spray spritz this uh, face mist on my uh, face this was amazing it was so hydrating so refreshing my skin felt so soft and you know um, i like the way it you know felt i felt after applying it Plum is one such brand which actually has lot of natural extracts in it. They are vegan, they are quality free brand. I am in love with the Plum products recently. I would love to review a lot of other Plum skincare products. If you guys want, comment me in the uh, comment section below. Um, I would surely review their moisturizers, their night creams and you know uh, serums. So um, that's it about the product. Uh, this is in the variant Black Seed and Sea Buckthorn this is a sure uh, you know you have to give this a try this product is absolutely stunning until next time it's Zivia signing off Tada, bye bye